Hey guys, my name is Ty. I'm our lead technician on our tech support team here at Zydex. I'm going to show you how to set up your new awesome system from Zydex. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is cut the tape. Hopefully better than I did. And then just pull it open. So the next step, and the easiest way to get the inner box out of the big box, is to tip it over and we're going to pull the outer box off from the top. like that. And now we have the case box and your accessories box. So we need to go ahead and cut the tape on the top of this box and open it up. Inside there's going to be some more hard foam and your computer. We can go ahead and lift it straight out or you can tip it over like we did in the first step. So we'll remove the plastic around the case. There's a couple things I need to show you on the back of your case. There will be a Windows 10 product key along the back. This one's at the top, yours may be in a different location, but you'll need this when you enter setup. Also, this one on the motherboard has some display options. If you have a graphics card installed like this system does, you will not be able to use these displays. You'll need to use the sideways ports farther down the case. The next thing you're going to notice is that we have what's called an Instapack on the inside of the case. This is to protect all the components from moving around during shipping. So what you'll need to do is remove the two thumb screws towards the back of the case. And I'll note, if you have our X2, there won't be a window on either side, but you'll actually remove the side panel on this side of the case because it's inverted ATX. The rest will be the same. So, once you have the two thumb screws removed, the side panel will slide off. You can set that aside. And then you'll notice it's just kind of tucked in around the hardware. You'll just have to slowly and carefully pull it out. Sometimes it's a little wedged in, but it'll slide out just fine. Just make note, make sure no cables are unplugged, and all the hard drives are seated in their spot, and you should be good to go. Just replace the side panel. All right, guys, so before you put the side panel back on the case, there's a protective film on both sides to prevent it from being scratched. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. Now you can put it back on the case. I'm going to go over the accessories box real quick. What you're going to have in here, first of all, is your new t-shirt. And then you're going to have all the manuals and driver CDs, anything like that. None of this needs to be installed, it's all been installed already for you, but if you should ever have to reinstall Windows or something else, you'll have these for it back. You're also going to have the power cable, maybe some extra cables, SLI bridges, adapters, and a Wi-Fi antenna if you bought a Wi-Fi adapter. Um, like I said, same with the other things, this isn't necessary, these are extra parts in case you should need them down the road, your system is ready to go as we ship it. If you've gotten an RGB LED system, you'll have a remote to control that to select different colors and functions. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is give the computer power. So go ahead and plug that into the power supply, and then make sure the power supply switch has the one with the dash and not the zero. That's the on position. The next thing you'll need to plug in is our display cable. I'm using DisplayPort. You may be using DVI or HDMI as well. And remember, this needs to go on the graphics card towards the bottom, not at the top. The next two things you'll have to plug in are going to be your mouse and keyboard and any other accessories you may have. These will go into any USB port, but preferably a USB 2 port so you're not using up any of your USB 3s. If you're using a wired connection, your Ethernet port will be right here and then as long as that's going to your router or switch, that will get you to the internet. If you're going to use a wireless connection, make sure to install your antenna. It will just screw on. And then preferably, if you only have one, point it straight up. If you have a model with three, have the other two at 45 degree angles. Um, then when the computer turns on, select your network and enter the password. So now that we have everything set up and plugged in, we're ready to turn the system on. First, make sure your monitor is turned on, and then turn on the computer. The power button will be at the top or towards the top on the front panel. And then, it's going to go through its system tests while it turns on and then you'll see a splash screen of your motherboard brand, whether it's MSI, a Gigabyte, or something else. This one's a Gigabyte. And now, as soon as it goes through all its system checks, it's going to turn on to the Windows Setup screen, and I'll go through that in just a moment. So now that we're at the Windows Setup screen, it's going to ask you a few things, like what language you want, what keyboard layout you're going to use, and your time zone. All of this is correct for me right now, so I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Now the next thing is, enter the product key. That's what we talked about. It's a multicolored sticker on the back of the computer. After you enter this, it's going to ask you for your Windows settings, any other preferences, and to create your account, and if you want a password. After that, you're ready to get gaming. Thanks for staying tuned with me on this Zydax PC unboxing and setup. If you have any other support questions, 
feel free to contact my team at the number below.